The coffee looks like it's just water. Oh! Before we start the video, I have some very exciting news. Nerdy Nummies just celebrated its 10th anniversary. Woo! I cannot believe it's been 10 years. And to celebrate, I made some commemorative merch. In the front of the shirt, it's got the small little logo. And then in the back, I wanted to put a big logo because we are celebrating 10 years. It's been so special and I just wanted something to remember it by. So there's a crop top and it comes in an X small slash small size and then a medium and a large size. And then there's also in black, it's unisex and it comes in youth sizes and adult sizes. So again, this is the back. And this is the front. Here's when we started Nerdy Nummy. So established 2011, and now it's 2021, literally 10 years later, and it just feels like yesterday. This is so crazy. I'm also making, again, for a limited time, this crew neck, and it's, again, unisex and in youth sizes and adult sizes. I also made these matching hats to go with everything. You would not believe, I tried on like 40, baseball dad hats and the back is adjustable. It is a one size fits all, um, but it's one size fits most. I love it. It's simple, it's clean, and it's embroidered. So if you wanna get your own limited edition Nerdy Nummies merch, I'll put a link down below. Remember, they're all pre-orders and they are gonna be available for three weeks. Only three weeks, y'all. Hey guys, it's Ro. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm hanging out with my friend, Joey. Hi. You guys know Joey. We've done a ton of videos so together. So many. Over but it's the been years. so long. If any of you are new to the channel and you aren't familiar with Joey, <gasps> I'll be putting his links down below. So go check him out, subscribe, show him some love. And today, I invited him over to help me test. Uh, this is by popular request. Yeah. I got so many requests from you guys to make another Trying Kitchen Gadgets video. I'm excited, these look really cool. So we're gonna see if any of these gadgets are the good stuff. So you'll have to vote, win or fail, okay? I can do that. And if you guys like watching these videos, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, click subscribe, it's free, and ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. Cause we have some really fun ones coming out this year, including a house tour. I promise. Without further ado, let's start testing these kitchen gadgets. Joey, which one do you want to try first? Hmm? I'm so fascinated by this one. Apparently, it's you big. can cook your breakfast all at once. Let's make ourselves breakfast. Okay, let's do it. All right, let's open this. It's called the no Nostalgia. It's oh, fancy. Hello. Okay, so it says it's a, oh, this is in another language. Is that <gasps> like, oh! Ooh, ooh, sure. let's flip this upside down. I'm really pulling it. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> I hit my funny bone here. Oh. Oh. The reviews are in. It's packed very well. We're gonna have to destroy the box, Joey. Destroy the box, okay? <gasps> it's so little. This is the smallest coffee pot. The point of this is that cooking it all at once is supposed to save us time. Yeah. So let's try to do that. Okay. And there's two of us. Should I put it on? <laughs> yeah, put it Should on. Should I do grill? Wait, <gasps> indicated. Oh, water tank's in the back. Okay. Okay, the grill's on, it's heating up. Okay, Ooh. I need you to toast the muffins in the front. Okay, yes. And then we need to heat those up. Oh Little, my god. Like vegan sausages. It's or like we're playing they are. overcooked. Hurry up, bro. Look, Joey, it's the says, customers are waiting. And we gotta get two eggs up on top. Water's okay. going in. Get the coffee in here. Okay, how much? Just a little like I'm that's good. Yeah. I like a strong. <laughs> that's too Okay, grease the grill, grease the grease grill. It. Oh, it's getting warmer, okay. Oh my God, these are so little. They're really cute. Should I crack an egg on here? Go for it, Joey. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. She said, I'm going over here. Let me get a spoon. Come this way. <laughs> Why is she going that way? She wants to be in the corner, just let her. Put it in this corner, put it in this corner. So those look like they're cooking. The coffee looks like it's just water. I put enough grounds in there. Oh! <gasps> What's happening? It's doing stuff. Maybe there's not enough water. Oh, should I put this on? Oh, you know what? It says fill to here. So yeah, it doesn't have okay, enough water. Okay, we're putting water. the lid on. Oh, what's so this sure. for? You know, I, I reach in there like I'm fixing the back of a toilet. Oh, it's like, like a little scooper. And there's a scooper. Oh, well, that's strong. Oh, that's really strong. And it kind of smells like plastic. How to operate. Oh, you're supposed to preheat for four to five minutes. Oh, we didn't Oops. do that. Oops, so we'll just add a, yeah. Four to five minutes on this bake time. Okay. I feel like we've done everything right here. Yeah, we're good. Ooh, the toast <gasps> is looking good. Really? Our little muffin? Oh, <gasps> Joey, I just thought Ding. we can tell. Dang, it's 
It's ready. I just thought we could test this too. It squirts out butter and I'm gonna put it on my English muffin. Okay, what is this called? So this is called the buttermilk butter dispenser. Mm. You can spread a stick in 10 foot ribbon. So you like squeeze it and it comes out in like a little sheet. So you probably don't have to like spread it. Oh my gosh. I really hope this works because when I have English muffins in the morning, my butter is always just like so tough and I and I cook and then I have to wait for it to, oh, we need a spoon. Can you oh, shove yeah. it in here? There we go. Mm, have a lick. Push that it, just, push it in there. Really I got another thick. one. How, how do you get it in there? All right, I got as much butter in as possible. You did a great job. Look, full. Okay, and then we oh, put this shoot. in. Shoot, that's. I wonder if we were supposed to fill it to the top. Okay, spin this down to attach it. The toaster was amazing. Okay, let's get like, the toast look out. Look at this toast. Although, actually, it's only cooked on one side. The bottom's very. <laughs> Raw. Joey, please make me a fancy ribbon of butter. Okay. She's she's coming out. I thought you would just press it out. You twist it? No, you it? have to twist it. Oh. <laughs> Why does it look like that? It looks like a weird, like, coral, like, designs. Oh. Yeah, it just doesn't. Oh, no, I don't understand. I don't this get it. Is Awful. Maybe we just need to keep twisting it. Okay, first off, it said that this thing could help you save money because you save butter because you get just the right amount, like a thin little slice. This is not a thin little slice. Like, this is a glob. I don't like this. And it will take up so much space in no. your fridge. The yeah. butter dispenser is fail. a fail. No. We tried, Joey. I mean, we really tried with that thing. This is the smallest. Is that even enough for one? Okay, why well, have the smallest coffee cup? I got the smallest. It's not, I mean, it's like an espresso cup, really. Okay, so there's enough for two. If you use an espresso cup. <laughs> How are the eggs looking? Let's check on the eggs. Eggs are still raw as hell. Ooh. Okay, yeah. let's just show them what's going on here. <gasps> What is this? It's burnt. Some are uncooked. I'm really so sad You're getting sad raw egg this. on your English muffin. We're gonna have to skip <laughs> this one. Okay, the sausages are warm though. In real time, Joey and I are hanging out and this has been going for about 20 minutes. Uh-huh. And the oh. egg is not cooked. So Wait, for see, saving- Wait, see if this is cooked. Oh, hard. Hard, why does it look Hard raw? Hard a rock. So the yolk is cooked and the egg whites are not cooked. Not. I think it's a really good idea, mm -hmm. but it wasn't the best executed. I feel like this is a step above Easy Bake Oven. So Joey, overall, I think that that's two fails. We better find a win. The next gadget I chose is the taco toaster. Now breakfast did not work out for us. No, no. So I thought, let's try lunch. Okay. So these are really cute. I don't exactly know how they work, but you kind of put the tortilla around them and then you put them in the toaster. <gasps> so like, they'll like stay in position. Yeah, and I got little, they're corn. So this, oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm really hoping this works because I love tacos. We each can get one too. <laughs> Using the supplied heat shields allowed up to five consecutive uses without cooling or without heat shield, the taco toaster must be cooled down under cold water after two consecutive uses. Failure to do so could result in plastic blistering or melting. Oh, this is plastic? Oh, it's right here. Let's put the metal on. And Perfect. here's a pro taco tip. Okay, what's the tip, girl? What do you think the tip is? Uh, Use your heat shield or you'll get poison from the plastic. I mean, that's probably it. <laughs> heat your corn tortillas in the microwave for 15 seconds and then put them on your taco You're toaster. You're telling me we need a microwave and a toaster? Joey, look, they gave us pictures. Oh, thank God. Depending on your desired crispiness, it may take a second toasting, which also doesn't seem very fast. Okay, so you put it around the base, put it on this T thing, and then you, I think I did it the wrong way. Oh, that's what you're supposed to do. I am not the biggest fan of this, because why didn't they just build it like this? Should we do one non-microwave and one microwave? Yes, Okay. science. I'll do the microwave one. You just slip it here, Yep. put them in like that. See, this is such a cool idea. Alrighty, bro, are we ready <gasps> to make some tacos? Yeah, two Let's of them. Let's <laughs> go. Oh. Okay, the moment of truth. Okay, so the first toast is not crunchy at all. It's still really <laughs> floppy. Here we go. 
again. Hopefully. I'm, I'm like, not giving up hope yet, Joey. I'm still, I'm holding out that this thing could work. You know what? Why don't you just buy the pre-made <laughs> hard shells? I mean. I'm gonna stop it. I, All right, should we just leave them there? Or should we take them out? Will it help form them? If I we feel like if it, it cools there, like, down. Cools yeah. in there. So it's just adding more time. Now you gotta cook them for five minutes mm -hmm. and let them cool. I swear, if they flop open, I'm gonna be so disappointed. Should we do it? Yeah. How's yours? Well, look at her. She's floppy, girl. She's floppy, she but they're kind of bent. Oh, she's flat. Okay, yours is staying it's, together. It's standing up. And Mine I, was the microwaved one. Yeah, and they said microwaving it would work better. And yeah. It, and it doesn't. You don't want to microwave them, everybody. So the materials I have an issue with. Got to do a double. You know, and you don't get the toasted on the bottom. It's only toasted on the side. But I will say, it is standing up for me. It's just not worth it. I just want to try one though. I want to try it. Maybe I'm eating red plastic, maybe. I don't even know if Keith's taco sauce could save this, you guys, but if anybody could do it, it'd be Keith. Okay, here we go, here we go. Mm? How is it? It's got the crunch. Okay. The winner of the show is Keith's taco sauce. <laughs> maybe because it's new. You it taste just, the plastic? It just doesn't, yeah, it has like a little, just a tea. It's just not. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little. <sighs> Joey, I'm so I upset. I know, I wanted this to work so badly. We needed a win. This was so close to be, it's just so close. Fail. Fail? Mm-hmm. I have to give this product a fail. Are we gonna get any wins? <laughs> All right, up next is this sushi maker. Mm -hmm. I'm very confused by this. What is this? This is a, I ordered online, uh -huh. a sushi bazooka. And a bazooka? Came, yeah, and it came with all this cool stuff that we have in front of us. It's basically because I love to eat sushi, but I have never made it, and this is supposed to make it easier for you. I'm triggered from the butter thing. I feel like <laughs> this is very similar. Oh, oh no, my gosh. It does look like that. Our sushi dinner is gonna be amazing. And look, at they got pictures for oh, us too, God, which one, I two, three. one, two, three. And let's just look at it. Oh, okay, so the, the nori is the last step. Put the rice and then the toppings inside. Oh, I don't even like, think we need this here, stuff. Got, what is this? That's like, to, oh, maybe we need that afterwards, actually. Are these our placemats? <laughs> no. So this is like, oh, no? you put the roll here, oh. and then you use it to, <laughs> to roll. <laughs> Joey, you have to you have These to are our plates! <laughs> you guys have to give me a break. I haven't been out of the house in like two years. <laughs> Start by putting in the rice. <gasps> it comes with ducks! Cute! We got this knife. Rice is inserted into the bazooka. Oh, Next, this, we'll add some carrots. This knife is cheap. This is literally- Whoa! Look, oh my god! The knife that it came with, it's cheap though. So I would suggest using your own knife because this stuff- <laughs> I mean literally. And you guys, I haven't worked out in a year. Like I can barely do a push up. No to this knife, it's not safe. So cut this. Avocado. If your avocado is not the perfect ripeness, this thing is really not forgiving. I'd rather just chop it myself. <laughs> what, what the a, heck? What a pain in the butt to clean. That did not you know what work. I mean? I got some thin slices of avocado. Just a lot. This is the pretty center. full. Yeah, it's very full. I'm gonna eat a few of them. I'm really hungry. We haven't had a lot of wins today. <laughs> I need some snacks. <laughs> okay. So we just snap it shut. Yeah. <laughs> oh no, there's a cucumber. He's hanging. <laughs> Not anymore. So then we just twist. Wait, we have to shoot extrude. it. Look at the picture. Joey, oh, we just Joey. Push. We gotta we gotta shoot it on top of the nori. A seaweed. Oh. Yum. We put it on our plate. Okay. Our placemat. <laughs> Is it <gasps> Oh my god, oh my god, okay, okay. Hold it down. Okay, okay. Go, 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 go. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, 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 oh no! No, Joey! It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Just jo start. Joey, save this. Okay, save, go. Save it, save it. Okay, oh I think gosh. we saved her. <laughs> no, you don't roll up the seaweed. What? What? The yeah, you do. Stay out. What the do you mean? The is now rolled into the roll. Oh, it is? Yeah. It's in the roll? Oh, what, what do you mean? Oh, oh, okay, okay. Look at that. I mean, we have a little excess. We can cut that off. We're gonna wet this down yeah. to seal. The instruction said to do this. This is just like fondant. Am I tripping or is this not in English? And I've just been looking at the pictures. Joey, just confirm that this is not English, correct? That is right? English, yeah. It is? Yeah. No! 
No, Joey, this is not. Oh, we gotta do it on a cutting board. Oh. No, wait, yes we don't. Yes we do, cause it's working. Oh my gosh, Joey, br bring that cute little roll over here. Oh, oh it's my so gosh. Cute. Look at it. We gotta win, we gotta win. We gotta win. How's it looking, Joey? It's looking amazing, Ro. We are sushi chefs. I didn't realize how easy it was to make sushi. Well, it's easy because of this gadget. I love this. Okay. Is this what you use to put your chopsticks on? Mm -hmm. Like it rests on them? Oh, I'll put a little soy sauce. Okay, I'm gonna put a little, I'm just gonna do it. Oh, shit. that was a lot. Oops. Okay, running. Mm-hmm. 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 We did it. Mm -hmm. We did it. It's Thank a win. Goodness. So good. Yes. Sushi bazooka is a win. Winner, winner, sushi dinner. Woo, 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 woo. The only thing I didn't like about the whole kit was the cheap knife. My only review is in. Get ready for dessert. Mm -hmm. I have one more gadget. What is for dessert here? I saved this one for last. I didn't even mean to go in food order. So this is from that same brand as the breakfast brand. Nostalgia. Mm -hmm. It's your own gummy bear. Maker. maker. That's awesome. I'm yeah, excited it makes, about like, this. Yeah, gummy bears, gummy worms, gummy fish, and like these are some let's of my go, favorite let's go. candies. Oh, I'm excited. Ooh, we got, a, they got all mold. these molds. Look at they got the worms. Okay, so this is the heating pot. Oh yeah, here's the picture on the back. How do you connect them? They have all these pokies on there. It's together now. And then we place this. What, what happens to the cord? You know what we gotta do, Joey? You gotta put it underneath. Okay, okay. now put the cord through, and then we can. And then we could do this. There, we did it. I like the colors. I don't like this. And here's their recipes. We've got a basic, we've got a vitamin gummy, and we have energy gel chews. Energy gummy? You put vitamins and an energy drink in it. For this device, it says you can either use one of their recipes or you can buy your own already made. Let's do the energy drink one. We need half a cup of the energy drink and four packets of unflavored gelatin. Four of these? That seems a lot. Now I'm using Red Bull, not just any Red Bull. I'm using peach Red Bull, which is my favorite. It's the only Yum. one I'll drink. It tastes like a peach Bellini. It is so good. It's, I can smell it. I can smell the peach. Oh, uh -oh whoa, uh -oh. whoa, whoa, this reaction. This weird. We're heating up an energy drink. And it says whisk together, but I, okay, so look at the size of the whisk. It's like, Oh, it's yeah. already getting so thick. Then you add vitamin of your choice, like a vitamin powder, like an emergency, like a little orange. Okay, add it So in. I thought orange and peach, they could be flavor friends. It's getting real thick. I don't know about this. Okay, it's keep, like, keep, it's having a reaction. Oh no, no. I don't think the emergency was right. It's like totally changed the consistency. It's like foam now. This is starting um, to smell like a chemical it, reaction. This, well, these are energy gummies, okay, Joey? So Let's, maybe we just put it I'm in the bear. It. Yeah, pour it in here. Pour it in the big one. Looks really foamy. I, I mean, you're not wrong. But we'll see how it looks. Maybe it'll yeah. turn out okay. We've got to put it in the fridge for about 30 minutes. So I'm going to pop this in here while we make some other ones. Now we've tried one of their recipes. Let's try one of ours. Ooh, lemon flavor. Mm -hmm. Apple flavor. Apple flavor. Okay. I'm curious about the apple one. Let's oh, do that yeah. one. Two tablespoons of water. Yeah. Oh, it's like yellow. Oh, is yeah. it green? Okay, this could be a win. Smells like banana. Smell it. Doesn't that smell like banana, like artificial banana? It smells, you know what it is? It's almost like soury, like sour apple. I think for the green, we should do gummy bears. Oh, very innovative. Look, they have little pore spouts right yes. here, little pore spigots. I appreciate that. Ready. I'm just gonna pour in here. Love it. Oh, the whoa, consistency whoa, whoa. of this one is much different already. I love Swedish fish. She They're loves one of them. my favorite candies. I love them too, actually. So let's do those ones. Okay. We gotta make the red powder to make okay, them look like Okay, this is the red one. Oh, strawberry. Ooh. Interesting. Let's right. make some little Swedish fish. fish. Oh my God, it's so cute. So now we just need to let this sit out here so yeah. they can congeal and become gummies and we will be back to taste test them. And ta-da, our gummies have set and... We have a little bit of a um, monster on our hands. Something happened to him. It's energy bear. I think it was so, the vitamins. The foamy, it's really, it feels foamy. Oh my God, it literally smells it's, so bad. The other stuff, more of the gelatin set here and it's hard as a rock. You know, I've seen fancy gummies be kind of two-toned and one's a little oh, foamy. Oh, so it's just fancy. Like, like it's, it's like really, really fancy, rare and expensive. Homemade, custom. Um, I, have I have. Oh my gosh! You know what? I'm gonna take one for the team. This you're was... gonna. You're gonna take a bite. <laughs> 
I don't like it. I don't like the texture. <laughs> you know it. It smells like... so bad. Emergency. It tastes like highly diluted emergency. This is awful. The oh. other part is too rubbery. We're not tasting any red. It's bowl. just emergency. It just tastes like emergency. I have more faith in these. They're they're also very rubbery. All of these recipes have too much gelatin. Same you way. can hear all the air bubbles. Here's some ASMR. And a good gummy doesn't have those air bubbles. It tastes good though. It does? Like the flavor is good, but the texture is awful. Mm, yeah, strawberry is pretty hard to it's mess up. It's a yummy up. flavor. Let's see. It's banana. It's, Ew. Little, it's banana. Ew. Ew. Isn't it banana? Tell me it's banana, bro. It's banana. Okay, it smelled like apple to me. It tastes like a weird, dully, mushy, like mooly, like plastic. And it's, banana. I'm not getting banana. How are you not getting banana? I, uh, Joey, was this product a win or a fail? I'm going to give the product a win, mm -hmm. but the recipe wasn't part of the product. That was on our end. Because okay. I think if we chose a better recipe, like from your cookbook, mm -hmm. I think it could have been a win in the taste. I'm really torn. I feel like if you make a gummy, a gummy bear kit, it should come with- It should come with. Its own mix. There's no research here. Yeah. What's the deal, Joey? I take my gummies and my candy very seriously. I feel like and Ro is, is leaning on a fail. I, I'm really upset at this. Take it out on the gummy. I'm. <laughs> So upset at it this, can take it. I this Rip it. You know what? I spent a lot of time doing this. Yeah. And all I got was garbage. Rubber. That I can't eat. Win, fail, it's somewhere in the middle. This is somewhere in the middle for me, yeah, because I do like the molds. All right, so that is Trying Kitchen Gadgets, part 500. <laughs> a big thank you to Joey for helping me do this. this Thanks for so having me. This was so fun. <laughs> thank you for helping me test all of these. Mm -hmm. We opened so many boxes, read so many instructions. And Joey, I'm so sorry because this is probably mm -hmm. the most fails yeah, you that should we've be sorry. had in a video. And How I invite you. you over and then we have so many Kitchen Gadgets fails. But at least we had sushi. That's right. And at least this video was a win and not a fail. So, Aww. yeah. Yeah, well, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, go check out Joey's channel. I'm going to be putting all of his links down below in his social medias. Go like, go comment, go subscribe, go show him some love. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe, it's free. And ring the bell to receive notifications every time I post a new video. Because I got some new stuff and I think they're going to be wins. Okay, so the more likes this video gets, the more likely she'll do a part 501. Thanks for watching, you guys. Um, and thanks for suggesting this. I haven't done one of these in a while and it was really fun and if you'd like to watch any other videos you can click up here or <laughs> bye 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 sometimes you gotta kiss a lot of frogs before you get the get toad. the toads <laughs>